Yeah, I think uh, as far as the feedback I'm getting, there's mm -hmm. going to be there's more interest. There's more. I think I think we established something last year. I think it went out that there was 2,600 people here that we set an outside record, and so that I think got the wrestling community fairly excited. And now I think you know with Andrew, uh, Nicola's help and our, our uh, SID help, uh, that you know they've done a great job marketing it, and I, I think it's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to exceed 2,600. There, there's a lot of excitement. Even kids in class are like, hey, I saw the poster, you know, take it outside, pointing it out on the building. There's like a uh, poster of Jake and Nolan and uh, Bradford. So I think, uh, I think there's a lot of hype about it amongst campus. So. I, think, I think once you get into the, you know, the battle of competition, it, uh, it, it boils down to, you know, wrestling at the end of the day. So uh, outside, it was, it was really cool. Uh, it, it was pretty warm that day. Actually, we were scared that there was going to be a little rain, but it ended up being real warm. And I think I think the atmosphere of the crowd really just kind of mediated every other thought of, you know, outside, inside. I think, I think it was an awesome crowd. And uh, I think wrestling outside was actually a lot of fun. But like I said, I didn't notice it as much, you know. Like kind of like really wanted to be out there with the guys wrestling last year, so I'm excited for this year. Anyway, Bakersfield found out we had a uh, opening there, and they he actually <laughs> I talked to him, and he was very interested in doing it. So he's uh, of course you know they knew we had 2,600 fans last year, and um, you know I think they have fans right in this given area, and I think they have wrestlers from some right in this area as well. But so um, that's how that came to. Uh, given that fruition, but as far as a team, they're always tough, you know, they got, I, I know they, they have one All-American, uh, Division One All-American, they have probably two to the four, I can't remember exactly, other guys that went to the NCAAs, but they always wrestle, they're always, you know, wrestle, they're tough wrestlers, they always manage to get some of the toughest kids in the state and just, you know, it was always a tough tool. The competition that we plan to, you know, hope to, Beat at the end of the year. Uh, this is the this is the level that we need to compete with. This is the level if we want to be all Americans or national champions. These are the guys that are we're going to have to be able to beat and to compete well with. So um, you know, there's nobody on our team that uh, that I you know that that is uh, concerned with wrestling D1 guys.